Let us joyfully welcome in the Mass by praying together the entrance antiphon. Leave your country, your family, and your father's house, for the land I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name so famous that it will be used as a blessing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good afternoon. As we gather here today to celebrate the solemnity of St. Patrick, this celebration commemorating St. Patrick enables us to offer our thanks to God for the gift of faith the gift of faith of St. Patrick, and the gift of faith of all the Irish missionaries in the church. And just as in St. Patrick's life, faith makes it possible for God to enter. So we take this opportunity to ask God to open our minds, open our hearts, so that faith makes it possible for God to become involved in our world. So now let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thought and in my word, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And now let us together to give glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And now let us pray. O oh God, who choose the Bishop St. Patrick to preach your glory to the peoples of Ireland, grant to this his merit and intercession that those who glory in the name of Christian may never cease to proclaim your wondrous deeds to all. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. from the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord was addressed to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you came to birth, I consecrated you. I have appointed you as prophet to the nations. I said, Ah, Lord, look, I do not know how to speak. I am a child. But the Lord replied, do not say, I am a child. Go now to those to whom I send you and say whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to protect you. 
It is the Lord who speaks. Then the Lord put out his hand and touched my mouth and said to me, There, I am putting my words into your mouth. This is the word of the Lord. Please join in the response. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. Strong is his love for us. He is faithful forever. reading from the book of the Acts of the Apostles. Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly to the Jews. We had to proclaim the word of God to you first, but since you have rejected it, since you do not think yourselves worthy of eternal life, we must turn to the pagans. For this is what the Lord commanded us to do when he said, I have made you a light for the nations so that my salvation may reach the ends of the earth. It made the pagans very happy to hear this and they thanked the Lord for his message. All who were destined for eternal life became believers. Thus the word of the Lord spread through the whole countryside. The word of the Lord. In the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Lord, and freedom to proclaim. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord appointed 72 orders and sent them out ahead of him in pairs to all the towns and places he himself was to visit. Then he said to them, The harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. It's that off now, but remember, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Carry no birds, no haversack, no sandals. Salute no one on the road. Whatever house you go into, let your first words be, Peace to this house. And if a man of peace lives there, your peace will go and rest on him. If not, it will come back to you. Stay in the same house, talking or taking what food and drink they have to offer, for the laborer deserves his wages. Do not move from house to house. Whenever you go into a town where they make you welcome, eat what is set before you. Heal those in it who are sick and say, The kingdom of God is very near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not make you welcome, go out into its street and say, We wipe off the very dust of your town and cleanse to your feet and leave it with you. Yet be sure of this. The kingdom of God is very near. I tell you, on that day, it will not go as hard with Sodom as with that town. The 72 came back rejoicing. Lord, they said, even the devils must submit to us when we use your name. And he said to them, I watch Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Yes. I have given you power to treat underfoot serpents and scorpions and the whole strain of the enemies. Nothing shall ever hurt you. Yet do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you. Rejoice rather your names 
are written in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. I think I need to catch a breath after the long reading. As I mentioned earlier today that we gather here to celebrate the solemnities of St. Patrick, we celebrate the ancestry of the Catholic faith here in Australia because through St. Patrick, the good news reached to the shore of Ireland and from Ireland is crossed the seas to Australia and to many other countries. And I think it would be fair to say that if it had not been for the arrival of the Irish over many generations, the Catholic faith in Australia would have developed in a very different way. So this celebration commemorating St. Patrick and for us to give thanks to God for the gift of faith and also for the presence of the Irish families in the church. And interesting in the gospel reading today, we hear that Jesus commissioning the 72 disciples to bring the good news to all the nations. And what I like the most in this gospel reading today is that the disciples are told not just what to say, but how to say that through their lives. And the kingdom of God will never make sense to words unless it is also being lived. And the disciples are told by Jesus that to live leaning into the providence of God. They are carrying nothing with them, no purse, no haversack, no even extra sandals. And that is a real trust in God's graciousness, that God will provide all that is needed. God will sustain us. And that is exactly how St. Patrick arrived in Ireland, with a little bit more than his own faith to sustain him. And that is also how first Catholic arrived in Australia, many comes at convicts or laborers. So as we celebrate and give thanks for the fight of St. Patrick, we here also celebrate and give thanks for the rich heritage of all our ancestors in the faith. And the presence of the Catholic Church in Australia, the way in which, in spite of our own struggles, our own witnesses, and even shameful failures at Psalms. But it grows to be the largest Christian church in this land. And that's all so much to the Irish ancestors in the faith and therefore to St. Patrick. And that realization of how much these all to those who have gone before us can lead us to a deep sense of gratitude the gratitude that give rise to our determination to treasure, to protect, and to make use of that gift that we have to receive, the gift of faith. So let us today thank God for it and recommit ourselves to be the disciples of Jesus is calling us to be. And as St. Paul and Barnabas remind us the word of the Lord have called to his disciples in the second reading, I have made you a light for all nations so that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Amen. Let us all stand to offer our prayer to God.
Let us pray to God and we, his people, who have experienced his forgiveness, may bring joy of reconciliation to the world. That the church, set free by the blood of Christ, may live in harmony and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christian churches may be brought together in the unity of the one gospel of love. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. And that married couples may learn to forgive and understand one another. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. And that all of us may learn the mercy of Jesus and forgive one another from the heart. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. And that the faithful departed may enjoy the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, sustain us always with your love and mercy and help us to offer forgiveness to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, and we become our spiritual ring. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good on his holy church. Rejoicing in the gift of faith, O Lord, we bring you these offerings. Grant that through the prayers and examples of St. Patrick, our lives may be united to Christ our Savior in the holy sacrifice of praise. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. 
For as on the festival of St. Patrick, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by examples of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the companies of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as with thou end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In similar way, when suppers were ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Bishop, all the clergy and entire your holy people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Patrick, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As our Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Given us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power, glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And now let us offer each other that sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the things of the world. Happy are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
strengthen us, O Lord, by these sacraments, so that we might profess the faith taught by St. Patrick and proclaim it by our way of living. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go and glorify the Lord by your life. And have a great day, everyone. <laughs>